What's a new, cringe, fast-paced, scary, third-person shooter and is an RPG? What is it? Let's find out. Hey, this is my game review. Unfiltered, unbiased. And this is me walking away. Developer Flying Wild Hog will give you Evil West. A 2023 linear semi-open world full of vampires, werewolves, slugs, that's right I said that, bugs and cowboys. In this game consisting of 16 chapters, you play as Jesse Rentier, the Nepo baby of Rentier Institute, and of course you report to your father, owner of this secret society slash secret military institute. The art style in this game is hella unique, ranging from the vast western but dark and gritty comic book like environments to the fact that every male character in this game for some reason has huge ridiculously oversized hands. Or as some cowboy would like to say, basically you got fists like anvils, fingers like iron sausages, and more guns than a cactus has needles. Did I do that right? Maybe? Eh? Eh? Let me know. The environments were many and really unique. I'm going to blame that on the push for the reactional cringe dynamics, as I call them, with the bug sound right in your ear or the slugs of different sizes crawling over each other and you're stepping through it. But the options for the weapons and abilities were vast, matching the vast amount of opponent types. Each was unique and had its own multiple death animations, which was super crazy fun. Throughout the whole game, none of it got old. While each boss did get more challenging and scary, talk about jump scares, as the game progressed, unfortunately the storyline and the voice acting did not. These factors are significant for me, as you guys might know from my other game reviews. If you haven't checked them out, here's a good stopping point to do so. Shameless plug. And if it weren't my stream buddy Sam, his Twitch is down in the description below, I definitely would have stopped not even halfway through the game. Which leads me into the fact that I cannot give this game more than a 3 out of 5, and that is being generous. Which is about $15 in 2024, in my opinion. Other issues I had, game breaking bugs. There were many, you'll see them a lot in my gameplay videos. The co-op forced you and your partner to be the same character. Exactly same, with no storyline kind of mysterious explanation. So everyone's playing Jesse Rentier. Makes no sense. Maps were actually too linear for me and had too many predictable characteristics such as ambush zones, boss zones, you knew when you were getting to them. And finally, and some people like Sam might see this as a pro, but the game graphics and everything about it really really came off like it was made for the Xbox 360. Not anything after that. So if you're kind of dying for that type of linear but old school game, this might be for you. It was for Sam. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did or didn't, check out my comments below. Reply to whatever I say or to someone else, I don't know, but check it out. Also, feel free to check out my other videos and the gameplay videos for this game itself coming up next.